Didn't you have any dirty washing? I couldn't find a thing. Uh, I did a load myself a couple of days ago. Oh, right. Deidre, sit down. Hey? Please. What's wrong? You're not ill or something, are you? I'd like you to read this. What is it? So, you're leaving me? No. When it came to it, I couldn't do it. So I suppose I should be grateful you just had an affair? No, of course not. And what do you want, Ken? Understanding? A round of applause? I thought you had a right to know. In a lot of ways, I think I did. What? You've not been here for weeks, months. Sometimes it was the long walks. The rest of the time it was the long silences. Why didn't you say something? What, Ken? What could I possibly say? What do you want me to say now? This, this letter. Why have you shown it me if it's all over? I don't know. It's it's full of this this Martha and what she means to you. So much that you were gonna leave me, turn your back on your family, your whole life. What made you think I'd want to read that? Hiya. This Ken. What's so wrong with him? You could say that. He's just told me he's been having an affair. Teal, do you want something stronger? I think Ken's got a flipping cheek showing you this letter. It's almost as if he's asking you to feel sorry for him. Well, if I wasn't so flaming angry, I probably would be. I don't know. It's like he's... He's searching for something. Yeah, we all know what that is. I mean, why can't men keep the trousers no, on? No, no, it's more than that with Ken. It, it's like... When he was trying to write that novel. Hardly. He's had an affair. He's nearly left you. Yeah, but if she meant so much to him and he's still come back to me. Oh, Deirdre, don't talk soft. He's actually being very clever. Oh, well, yeah. This is Ken we're talking about. But a guilty secret takes some living with. You know, it eats away at you, destroys you, unless you've no conscience like my dad. I bet Ken's feeling a heck of a lot better now he's told you and you're the one having to deal with it. Oh, did you thank goodness. I was getting worried. And all the times you were much later than this, and I didn't worry a bit. Maybe I should have. We need to talk, don't you think? You said it all in that letter. Oh, can we forget the letter? I did come back. I did choose to be here with you. You don't know how pathetic you really are, do you? I mean, take that novel. For weeks, you sweated blood over that. Like, it was the best thing since Shakespeare. And then what? You burned it. Because it was rubbish. No. Because it might have been. You lost your nerve when it was time to send it to a publisher in case someone who knew could tell it was boring nonsense. And you've done the same thing with this... this... woman. She's everything you want, unlike me. No. No, yeah. I mean, with her, you can talk about 
arts, literature, music, on your narrow boat, drinking real ale and baking your own bread. <laughs> and you know what? He bottled it. I made a choice. Did you really? Because I keep coming back to wondering why you showed me that letter. I don't know myself. I think I do. So I could throw you out. And you could go running back to your mistress with a clear conscience. Oh, I tried to make a go of it, but Deirdre refused. All you've said, Deirdre, makes sense, except for one thing. Yes, Martha might be the perfect woman. But she's not you. I want to spend my life with you. Because I love you. I respect you. And yes, I need you. But do I need you, Ken? Do I need you looking down your nose at me? Going off into a sulk every time my mother kicks off over something trivial? Do I need to compete with a fantasy? They should not let menopausal women work in charity shops. Facial hair, excessive sweating, and totally unreasonable to poor pensioners. Would someone care to tell me what's going on? Not really, no. That, mother, is my husband's farewell note. Or being can, it's more of a long letter. So, you're off, are you? To join your trollop? He's not a... No. He did actually leave, but <laughs> lucky me, he came back. I didn't notice he'd gone. And now he wants a fresh start. Clean slate. Typical man. You've had your fun, and now you're back with your tail between your legs, saying sorry, it were all a big mistake. At your age, you should have had him done years ago. Blanche, let me just remind you that this is my house. Oh, and uh, let me just remind you that it wouldn't be for much longer, not if I took this letter to a solicitor. Okay. We'll say no more about it. Sorry? He wants chucking in the gutter. See if he can find his morals. I don't want to hear any mention of any of this ever again. Thank you. I don't know who disgusts me more. Him or you for allowing him to get away with it. Look, it's all over and done with. I don't want to hear another word. I'm just and saying And if that doesn't that... suit you, you can go. Hey, I'm not having you telling me what I should and shouldn't do anymore. If you can't keep your mouth shut, you can get out. Well, that's nice. He's the one who's made a fool of you, yet I'm the one sent back in. I'm sure Deirdre didn't mean it. You'd see your own mother on the street, just to save your pathetic sham of a marriage. See, this is exactly why I want you out. Because you won't be able to help yourself going on and on about it. You just can't sweep all this under the carpet. It'll eat away at your will, this, like a horrible cancer. Oh, mother, will you please shut up? Right. That's it, then. Go and get me that suitcase from upstairs. The one with wheels. Can I make you a cup of tea? Just had one, thanks. Is my bag in here? Ah. Won't get far without it. I can't believe it's come to this. All I did was try to defend my own daughter. Look, this is the last thing I want of you two falling out. And please! Can we discuss this like civilized human beings?
All right. Off on your holidays? Yes. I'm going to hell in a handcart. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> I thought it should be better by now. I set the table for three as usual because uh, I thought she'll be back. Yeah, you said. You must be worried about her. She's a grown up. She can take care of herself. But what's going on, Deirdre? All this? I don't get it. Well, what did you expect, Ken? Big drama? Shouting, crying, carrying on? I'll tell you. I've got nothing left to give. Nothing. I'm exhausted. I mean, what you've done knocks me sick. But there's no point in going on about it because it doesn't change anything. I'm so grateful to you for giving me another chance. Oh, you were too spineless to leave me. Maybe I'm exactly the same. Maybe that's it now, eh? Me and you. Stuck with each other till the grave. <laughs>